as the psychic functioning among the living that is posited by the super psi hypothesis. The only difference between survival psi and living agent psi is the ontological status of the uh, you know, at least one party in the interaction. Right, and that's important to point out that when a medium, if a medium is in contact with the deceased, that is still telepathy. It's just telepathy with a deceased mind. Yeah, and so that's why we went to look at the, at the process because um, the medium experiences, she knows what telepathy with the living feels like and she experiences telepathy with the deceased as much different. So that's why I went in that direction. But it's obviously a good point. Um, Stephen Browdy, everyone, uh, author of Immortal Remains, discusses super sight extensively in the book. Sure. Um, as, a, as a comment, I uh, may cause you to regret giving out your email address because I'm liable to mail you about 100 questions. Uh, but for right now, I'm curious about one thing, which is do you find that um, information being provided by the deceased about, or the presumably deceased about their current conditions, environment, or what have you, is threatening to or gets you static from organized religions that make definite dogmatic statements about what the afterlife is supposed to be like? Um, we, we haven't looked at it. Uh, we did a, a small pilot study where we had asked mediums about their, you know, a huge list of questions, what the afterlife was like, and it soon became apparent that their own belief systems were highly coloring their answers. They weren't waiting, you know, often when you ask a medium a question, they wait while they listen or see um, the answer, and we were asking these questions about the afterlife, and they were, there was no pause. They were just saying, the afterlife is like this, and the Christian mediums were talking about Jesus, and, you know, it was clearly colored um, by their own um, belief systems. So we're not, we're not alleging the afterlife is like or, you know, any, what any religion says. I don't think, uh, I would say, you know, death is no more religious than birth. It's very spiritual experience, but um, there, it doesn't require, uh, you know, I'm not talking about heaven. I'm talking about survival of consciousness, um, which is just a part of nature. So I don't think, um, I, I don't think that it, it doesn't support or go against any specific religious belief. Joe, uh, do you give feedback to the, re to the uh, mediums about how well they did or didn't do after the fact? We do. So precognition is obviously um, an issue that they can just be precogging when we said the sitter said that items two, four, and six were right and one, three, and five were wrong. Different, different form of side, but that's very possible. Right, yeah, yeah. Sure. Can you imagine any uh, research protocol that would distinguish the psychic reservoir from the clairvoyant aspect of supersight? We haven't really looked at that. The big debate is, you know, survival versus yeah. not survival. <laughs> um, so the distinguishing between the two knots isn't something that we've specifically looked at. Yeah. Do mediums find requests from the discarded? Or to do something for them uh, out of the blue without someone coming to the medium, uh, but spontaneously in their own experience. I don't, I'm not sure that I. Let no. me let me answer this and see if it says. So when we ask the questions, we ask about the person's life, and then we actually ask a fifth question where we say, "Does the we make the discarnate jump through all our hoops?" So we say, "Does the discarnate have any comments, questions, or requests for the sitter?" And we often get like, you need to clean out the garage. Or, you know, people complain about like, why isn't my headstone up? Uh, well, because the ground is frozen and we can't get to it till the spring and that sort of thing. So is that the, what you're asking? Well, I was thinking more, say, uh, someone died in an accidental or tragic uh, event of some sort. And uh, Um, so the, the question being, do, um, do mediums receive requests from the dead to help them in their transition? 
And, um, you know, again, we don't look at those kind of things specifically, but I, I, I talk to them and I have heard um, that that is indeed the case. And uh, one of our questions when we we're, when we we're screening in the questionnaire or the interviews, I'm not sure which one it is, we say, um, do, are you always receiving information or do you have to tune in? And 99% of them say, I have to tune, I have to turn it off. I would always get it, but I have to turn it off. So they might actually receive more, but they, they set up a, I don't know how it works, obviously, a spiritual block that they, they're only interested in communicating with the deceased that the sitter um, would like to hear from. Thank you very much. Thank you.